All right, guys. Welcome to uh, the tutorial of how to do multiplayer through Himachi in Minecraft and even Terraria. Uh, so first thing we're going to need for this for this uh, tutorial, I guess, is Himachi, of course. What you can find at you can Google it. Just search Himachi and then Himachi download. And then we're going to download the unmanaged version here. Um, make sure we're we're green with the conditions of use. Save it somewhere you would like. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And as you can see, it's um, it's about 3.6 megabytes, I guess. Let's check our desktop. Here it is. Uh, almost done downloading. Done. So you're going to install it and everything. Um, let it do whatever it wants to install in the proper places. I'm not going to go through it now just because I already have it installed. But once you have it installed, uh, you're going to need a server for the Minecraft. So we're going to go to our Minecraft page. And all I did was Google uh, Minecraft server. And then um, right here, download Minecraft at the top. And then we're going to go through here, downloading the game. We don't need that. Uh, gonna go right to the bottom here and Minecraft beta software server software. Now we're gonna download the Minecraft server.exe and uh, you're gonna choose where you want it. Um, this is an actual application .exe executable file. Um, so you're going to need it in a special folder. Now what I do is I've made a special Minecraft folder on my desktop which I put like my server and uh, what I've done is I just put the uh, the exe file in here and what it's going to do is as soon as you launch it it's going to create um, uh, all the files so it's going gonna, it's gonna to generate a random world and then you're going to have all these uh, all this notepads I guess and HTML no text files and stuff here now you don't want to edit those directly what we can do um, to do administrators in the server, so if we if we want to be able to spawn items in the server by using the server commands, we just go type in at the bottom here, op, and then the username. So um, mine would be glardo12345. So glardo12345, hit enter, opping glardo12345, um, and what that does allows me to spawn things the time of day pretty much anything I want to do in the server besides shut it down um, I, I don't know what's wrong with it but I had a glitch in one in one server where I couldn't open up doors without being an op so um, yeah you might need to op it just the, for the heck of it but um, so that's how you fire up a server now to connect to that server we're going to need to use Hamachi so you're going to open up Hamachi and the host of the server is going to need to set up a network so we're going to hit create new network. It's going to ask you for a name and a password. And I just named mine BAWE, black and white entertainment, only name left. And my password was some simple to remember, although I forget what it was. Um, once people connect to the server using Matchy here, you're going to see all their, na their computer names pop up with an IP address beside each one. And this little DAW is going to be filled in with green or red or something like that, determining. Uh, whether it's a direct tunnel where you get the best reception or it's blocked. Um, when it's blocked, sometimes rebooting Hamachi with this power button here helps, but uh, it doesn't help all the time. But anyways, back to what we're doing. So to, con to connect to a server, the host is going to have to have his server here. He's going to launch Minecraft and his server right here. And people are going to see on this Hamachi window his IP address here. It's going to say like uh, owner PC or something, whatever he named his computer, and this set of numbers right here, like my IP. And uh, what's they're going to need to type that in in Minecraft in the multiplayer. So right, right here, they're going to need to type in whatever your IP address is. Now, for you to connect to your own so server, all you need to do is go localhost and hit connect, and that should connect you directly to your own server. Um, now you can kick and ban players um, through the server uh, console here. Just type in the words help and it'll 
tell you all the commands. So ban a player, you type in ban and then the player name. And you don't need those arrows, I guess, beside, beside their name. Uh, ban IP or say message if you want to broadcast a message. Uh, set the time. Uh, yeah, and then save the level. Um, and deop and everything. And what doing it that way is just going to edit all these files inside of all these ones here. So opt. If we open that up, there. All those guys are ops. So, uh, yeah. And you can paste world files directly into here. So if you download a zip file of a world, say a challenge map, you can just put all the world data inside here as long as you don't change this name here. It should all work fine. Now this uh, also works with Terraria. Same same uh, type of idea here. They find your IP address through Hamachi here. They type it in in Terraria and I believe that's all you need to do. I've never set up a server in, in Terraria. I've only connected to them. And sometimes the guys they put uh, passwords in so you're going to need to find the password too if they put a password in. Uh, so yeah. That's that's all you need to do. Just make sure you download your Minecraft server if you're the host. And everybody who wants to play on that server needs Hamachi, unless if you have a different type of server software, uh, networking software. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching my tutorial, guys. Make sure to check out my other videos. Um, check out some of my subscribers, like Robin Hood Gaming. They do uh, some Minecraft videos, Terraria videos, uh, Portal and a whole bunch of other ones too. So check them out. And yeah, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and stuff and like my Facebook page. Should be in the description of my most recent videos. Thanks for watching.